Background of the study In a modern world, digital provides electronic technology that generates stores and processing data. Where the students using technologies and tools throughout teaching such as e-books, textbooks, e-workbooks, educational videos, e-tests, and order to learn the facilitated by technology that offers students some factors of command over the place, time, space, and path. It becomes a very unusual occurrence through the emergence of the Internet's tank of chance information throughout the World Wide Web and digital learning. In terms of paper such as printed books which commonly used for traditional classes and enhance the reading and writing skills, students either use digital or paper to provide materials for reading, lectures for viewing, assignments for completing, and exams for evaluation in order to locate themselves in the text when looking a couple complex ideas, purposes for knowledge and understanding whether they are comfortable or acclimate. In traditional classes, each student must provide selected printed books for their academic purposes to prepare discussion, quizzes, activities, especially preparation for examinations. However, most students cannot afford printed books for their tradition cla tradition classes due to financial problem or unavailable for immediate sale in a store. In this new method of learning, which is the blended learning, students are taught using various means including using online television, radio, and printed materials for educational purposes, which the Department of Education used this scheme for the school year after the temporarily banned face-to-face -face classes due to the novel coronavirus disease pandemic. Digital and paper for studying material is applicable but depending on the students what's preferable to them for their academic performances. In today's world, interdisciplinary literature concerned with digital and printed text that the, they are rapidly evolving, presenting new opportunities and affordance for students learning which academic studies have examined as part of teaching and learning for educational purposes. The purpose is to focus on factors such as a student's level of awareness of their options in a accessing learning materials and whether they are instructed and trained in how to take full advantage of the cap capabilities on digital and paper for the studying materials on their academic performance. In the modern world, a dramatic rise in the adoption of blended learning to enhance learning outcomes and universities are increasingly using digital technologies to make education more accessible and personalized. But printed books and physical paper are still the benefits of learning. This made the researchers want to know the digital versus paper towards the study materials preference and the academic performance of grade 12 students of other Saturninus or Hughes University. Their objectives are to find out what study material are they using on the students' academic performance. In current blended learning, either they use internet or book or for Intertiary education from this mode of learning. The in in investigation is significant in light of the fact that this will be in, in advantage to the education of students for analysis to their academic purposes. This study will take in the effectiveness and the conception and its result in high higher education and overall perspective towards in this new method of learning. Students process letters and words as whether if it is digital or paper. It shows to explain why you are affected about locating a particular piece of information in the current blended learning. These are the following questions that are going to be answered throughout the study. Number 1. What is the study material preference of male students of Section St. Stephen? Number 2. What is the study material preference of female students of Section St. Stephen? Number 3. What is the common study material preference of Section St. Stephen? And lastly, number 4. Is there a significant difference between male and female students in terms of their study material preference? Hypothesis. In this study, the researchers will evaluate if what study materials will the weight of students from STEM Section St. Stephen of Father's Learning or University prefer. 
Null hypothesis. There is no significant difference between male and fe in female in terms of their true study mat material preference. Alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference between male and female in terms of their ba study material preference. Scope and limit limitation. The study focuses on descriptive analysis on the study materials preference of grade 12 students from STEM section same statement of Father Satan or his university. The respondents of this conducted study are grade 12 students who are studying science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, also known as STEM, from section same statement. It limits that the study may not be generalizable to other students from other sections and schools. Initially, this study will confine itself by giving Google form generated survey questionnaires to the grade 12 students, STEM students from Section St. Stephen and Father Orius University. It also limits that we cannot approach the respondents in person. This, this truly will not cover this, those students who are not from Section St. Stephen and is studying science, technology, engineering, and mathematics and are not from a Father Saturnino or his university. The result of this study will benefit the learners to develop a greater understanding of the important role of digital and paper material. It supports the future researchers to find useful information in order to enhance and expand their studies. It also helps the parents who are concerned with the learning style of their children. The instructor will be expected to consider and identify the impact between digital and paper as study material, as well to figure out which is the effective way to train students to learn and improve their academic performance. To have a better understanding, the following terms are defined. Digital. The text will be viewed inside by technological devices with a screen such as phone, tablet, computer, laptop as the study material. Paper. The text will be read and written through papers such as printed documents, intermediate bond papers, manila papers, and books that are used in school works. Gender is the range of characteristics pertaining to and differentiating between femininity and masculinity. Preference Determine the learning preference where students have to choose about their study materials, whether it be digital or paper of which can help them to overcome and master difficult areas of, of their academic performance. And lastly, study material provides tools for the learning process of students that use to enhance educational strategies. And there are a lot of literature that is related to our study. One is by Paris Corporation, where their study shows that students prefer reading on paper than digital devices. It's proven with the engagement of papers can help them to progress, develop their understanding, and recalling some lesson. It also improves their reading comprehension as well, and by writing it's shown the most effective way to study and retain information. It's related to the research given between the digital versus paper that students choose paper because it improves their reading and writing than the use of digital devices. Research design. This study will employ descriptive research. Descriptive research tests hypothesis and answers questions. Descriptive research describes and interprets what is it. It is concerned with condition of relationship that exist, opinions that are held, process that are going on, effects that are evident, or trends that are developing. It is primarily concerned with the present, although it is often considers past events and influences as they relate to current conditions. This give, gives way for research to be able to interpret the data gathered and formulate and a concept from the theories and concepts available. There will be a formulation of conclusions using the interpreted data using the literature and studies found. The researchers choose this as it fits the whole nature of the study and, all, and also as it is one of the easiest way to approach the participants amidst the ongoing pandemic. They have come up with a framework which will also be used to interpret the data then making the conclusion in each question. Though throughout through the gathered data of the research, they will use it to come up with a final conclusion. 
and sampling technique. The study will take place at the participants' homes due to the ongoing pandemic. The researcher will service 42 STEM students of Grade 12 St. Stephen of Father Saturnino Orius University, since these students are more convenient. The researcher will use complete enumerations as the resampling technique, for they will make all the populations as the respondents. Materials and Methods our materials is required for online generating survey questionnaires for the data needed, devices in order to access and save draft and a final document. With the use of the internet, it provides us to get an additional advantages to our research. We will use Google Form to the respondents as a conducted survey. Before sending the Google Form to the respondents, we make a letter to let them know that the researchers are conducting a survey. Thus, we use Messenger as our source of communication for respondents in order to receive our notice that we will conducting a research that they are participating in it. Of course, we search online on how to make a Google form and follow those steps, which our survey questionnaires contains five questions before it was sent to the participants. We made sure that there are no errors on the Google form, and we finalized that there are 42 participants are going to be surveyed, which regarding the statement of the problem. After the 42 participants read the letter and agreed to answer the survey, we will send the link in Google form through Messenger which we waited patiently until all of the participants finished answered the survey questionnaires. Then we analyzed and read all the responses in each question. Then we calculated and started to lay out the given data and published results and conclusions. Research instrument. The instrument used was a research made questionnaire through Google form. Researcher made this kind of method to be Safe our respondent because of COVID-19 situation. The questionnaire was drawn out based on statement of the problem statement describing the situation or issue pertaining was toned down to accommodate the knowledge preparedness of the respondent. The questionnaire is written in English language for easy comprehension for the participants. The, the first part of the survey consisted of the participant demographic profile. As for the succeed, succeeding sections of the survey, questions were answerable by using the fine point Likert scale. In addition, the instrument was validated by few consultant and former professor before it laid on the study. The researchers made 14 questions for the respondent and the following questions are I prefer to have all my study materials in print format, example book, course reader or handouts. I prefer to read my study reading electronically. I prefer to print out my course reading rather than read them electronically. I like to make digital copies of my printed course materials. I prefer electronic textbooks over print textbooks. It is more convenient to read my assigned readings electronically than to read them in print. I read my electronic course reading on a desktop, laptop, iPad or tablet, phone, or never read a course material objects. Uh, and then the learning is, I remember information from my course reading best when I read, I read them from printed pages. I can focus on the materials between when I read it in print. I usually highlight and annotate my print course readings. I usually highlight and annotate my electric, electronic readings. I am more likely to review my course reading after I've read them at least once. The appropriate tools that will be used in our research study are analysis of variance or ANOVA and mean. Analysis of variance or ANOVA will be used to determine there is a significant difference between male and female students in terms of their study material preference. This checks the impact of one or more factors by comparing the means of different samples. 
mean. This will be used to determine the average number of students and their study material preference. Chapter 4 Results and Discussion Our survey was designed and conducted to determine the study material preference among grade 12 students of Section St. Stephen. Our sample size of 37 people was surveyed. The question were asked prominently focus on the reader's experience with both printed books and ebooks, which platforms that they most preferred and were asked questions in the form of a scenario where they would need to pick either an ebook or a printed book which we asked about what platform they generally preferred in figure one i prefer to have all my study materials in print format e point g point book course reader handouts based from the pie chart given above 37 students that the average response has answered is neutral, meaning they neither agree nor disagree. The highest response among the 37 students is agree, meaning they prefer printed study materials than digital study materials. And 19 students chose neutral and 15 students chose agree and three students chose disagree on the question given. Specifically, 19 students agree or disagree with the question given, meaning that they study both gadgets and printed formats. In figure 2, I prefer to read my study readings electronically. Based from the pie chart given above, the data shows of 37 students prefer to electronics or using gadgets as their study material preference. The majority, students answered neutral, meaning neither agree nor disagree. Six students answered agree and also six students disagree. But most students, specifically 25 students, agree nor disagree with the question meaning that they study on both gadgets and on printed formats. In figure 3, I prefer to print out my course readings rather than reading them electronically. Based from the graph above, the data shows of 37 students answering neutral, meaning neither agree nor disagree with the question. Specifically, 48.6% or 18 students responded neutral and 45.9% or 7 students responded agree that they prefer to print out their course readings rather than reading them. There are also 6.5 or 2 students responded disagree, meaning that they are preferred to read their course readings electronically. In figure 4, I like to make digital copies of my printed course materials. Based on the graph given above, the data interprets of students responded neutral, meaning neither agree nor disagree, specifically 64.9% or 24 students answered neutral, and 29.7% or 11 students responded agree, which they preferred having digital formats on their course materials. And there are also 5.4 or 2 students responded disagree that they do not like to make digital copies of their printed course materials. In figure 5, I prefer electronic textbooks over print textbooks. Based on the pie chart, 37 students answering neutral, meaning they are undecided on their preference of electronic textbooks over print textbooks. 17 students or 45.9% responded neutral, 13 students or 35.1% responded disagree, and lastly 7 students or 18.9% responded agree. In figure 6, it is more convenient to read my assigned readings electronically than to read them in print. Based from the pie chart above, the average response of 37 students answering neutral, meaning they are undecided 
on reading electronically than reading them in print. 13 students or 35.1 percent persuade and disagree. 9 students or 24.3 percent responding agree. And lastly, 15 students and 48.6 percent responded neutral. Figure 7, I read my electronic course readings on a blank, which is desktop, laptop, tablet, or iPad, phone, or never read e-course material. Based on the pie chart above, the average response of 37 students is phone. Or 27 students who answered phone on the given survey. 18 students or 48.6% respond in desktop. 26 students or 70.3% respond in laptop. And 21.6% or 8 students responded iPads and tablet. And none of the students responded in, in never read e-course material. In figure 8, I remember information from my course readings best when I read them from printed pages. Based from the graph above, the data interprets that most students answered agree, meaning they remember information best when they read in from printed pages. 20 students or 54.1% responded agree, 15 students or 40.5% responded neutral. And lastly, 5.4% or 2 students responded disagree. In number 9, which is as, I can focus on the material better when I read in print. Based from the pie chart in figure 9, the data shows that most of the students responded agree on the question, meaning that they prefer printed study material rather than digital. 62.2% or 23 students responded agree and 35.1% or 30 students responded neutral, and 2.7% or 1 student responded disagree. In number 10, which is as, I usually highlight and annotate my pink course readings. Based from the pie chart, in figure 10, the data shows that most of the students responded agree, meaning that they highlight their printed course readings. 59.5% or 22 students responded agree, and 27% or 10 students responded neutral, and 13.5% or 5 students responded disagree. Number 11, which is as, I usually highlight and annotate my electronic readings. Based on a pie chart in figure 11, the data shows that the average response of the 37 students is neutral, meaning that they neither agree or disagree. 32 0.4% or 12 students responded agree, and 40.5% or 15 students responded neutral, and 27% or 10 students responded disagree. And number 12, which is as, I am more likely to review my course readings after I read them at least once when they are in print. Based on a pie chart in figure 12, the data shows that 48.6% or 18 students are undecided response in neutral. However, 48.6% or 18 other students responded to agree, meaning that they are to read course readings when they are in print. 2.8% or 1 student disagree with the question. Lastly, in number 13, which is asked, what else would you like us to know about your academic reading format preference? Based from the pie chart shown, the data shows that most of the students' response or their thought on their study material preference is neutral, or they are undecided and they would prefer digital and printed as their study material. 73% or 27 students responded undecided, none, and they prefer both digital and printed as their study material preference. 24% or 9 students responded with the same thought, of they prefer this, their study material as printed, and 3% or 1 student responded that they prefer their study material in digital format. In the study material preference of grade 12 students of section St. Stephen, 
Based on the pie chart shown above, the data shows the average number of male students and what they preferred study material preference is. With 11 questions, out of 19 students, the average number of male students who preferred printed study materials is 5, while the average number of male students who prefer digital study material is 3. Male students of grade 12 section C Stephen prefer printed formats of their study material. In study material preference of grade 12 female students of section C Stephen, based on the pie chart shown above in figure 15, the data shows that average of 8 students prefer printed study material and 3 students prefer digital study material. Female students of Section C Stephen prefer printed study material rather than digital study material. The common study material preference between male and female students. Based from the data shown above in Figure 16, the common preference of both female and male students of Section C Stephen is printed study material, averaging higher than the digital study material. Male and female students of Section C students prefer to have their study material in print format. In male and female students and their study material preference, as shown in the Table 4, that there is significant difference of study material preference among students. The T value is 3.12145 and P has 0 0.005376, with female students in mean has 11.45 and standard deviation or ST has 4.87. Attaining higher school than male students with mean of 8 and standard deviations of 8.6. Using 0 0.05 significance levels and two tells hypothesis for this T test. With all the data that we have gathered, both male and female students prefer printed study material rather than digital study material. An average of 5 male students prefer printed study material and 3 male students who prefer digital study material. And an average of 8 female students who prefer printed to an average of 3 female students who prefer digital. With the analysis of variance testing, the result came out as significant with P being less than 0.5. We can say that there is a significant difference between male and female students in terms of their study material preference. Conclusion We all have different styles of study materials to use. Some people may prefer digitals while others prefer paper materials. This research will show the comparison between male and female students from Section St. Stephen through their study material preference. Both male and females agree that they prefer digital and print materials. Both of the male students prefer to use printed formats as their study materials with a mean of 5 over digital. While in the female students, most are preferred in printed formats also as their study materials with a mean of 8 over digital. The common preference of both male and females in the printed materials with a higher mean of 6.5 over digital with a lower of 3. Based on the t-test, it shows that the result of t-value that has 3.12147 and the p-value as 0 0.005376 which both are positive. And typically, it also shows that the p-value is below in 0 0.05. It concludes that the HO or null hypothesis is rejected and HA alternative hypothesis is accepted. It means that there is a significant difference between male and female students in the term of their study material preference. Recommendation Based on the findings and conclusion in order to improve and have a better research regarding this issue, the researchers presented the following recommendations and suggestions. The researchers recommend to the future researchers to change the respondents of this research to the teachers instead of students to explore the teacher's preference specifies. And also, the researchers recommend for future studies to explore the teacher's preference in terms of their teaching method. The teaching method that would be compared are using the traditional way of teaching which is using the whiteboard or chalkboard and the digital way of teaching which is using PowerPoint presentations.